Hey everybody, welcome back to the channel and another episode of my Concrete Jungle series. So it's the morning of day three. We got a guy outside thumping around. He's been, he got attacked by a wolf and killed the wolf. So I'm assuming he's a feral, but he's just outside the door. Um, I got a lot of the building upgraded to cobble, but there's some stuff here that I couldn't get. So we got a little bit of cobblestone left. So we're going to go out this morning and, and knock that up. Let's just use this. I made a bunch of red tea and some coffee last night. So we've got a bunch of stuff to eat and drink now, which is nice. This is going to get sold today. We're going to use that for upgrades. Let's see if we can get this guy interested. Oi. Oh. He was a feral. You lucky bastard. There's another feral there too. I didn't realize there was two of them. Someone got somebody got exploded over there though, last night. I don't see anybody. All right, let's just quickly upgrade what we couldn't get last night. There's a little bit left out here. So we got what ten left? Perfect. And then we'll do this block right here. Nice. All right, let's get the hell out of here and do this quest. Well. Found a rabbit on my way to find some bird's nest on the way to this quest here. At least we got a little bit of extra meat and some bones. Could use it for the glue since we're completely out of bones. All right, what do we got here? Oh, I guess we could get the bones out of these. Excellent. We had fat, rotten flesh. Let's just hold on to that for now. There's not a lot here. Grab the stone out of there. Grab the plastic. All right, let's start you. That respawned. Nice. I didn't think it would. I thought it was one of those overland spawns, but I guess it's a POI spawn. All right, this should be interesting. So it's just a fetch. Oops, I guess I should search it first before I destroy it. Okay, it's downstairs. Oh, I know this one. Which house don't I know? That's the question. Ooh, a t-shirt. Okay. Uh, but I don't think we have a shirt, do we? Let's just wear that. We do not. Modify you. Take that out. We just throw that away. And then we'll modify you. Yeah, we're, we're totally kitted out. I mean, like... <laughs> oh, man. I should have made some armor last night. I never thought of that, but... Whatever. We'll worry about that when we're getting pummeled and killed and I'm like, oh shit, I should have made armor. Grab the plaque sticks and the plants for the free clay. I thought that was a chicken there for a second. Now this floor I think gives out. I think there's somebody in here. There you are. Don't lose your head. Is a way around this. We're gonna drop down here anyway. I just wanted to do it on my terms. All right, all quiet in the western front. What do we got here? Ooh, I should start taking. Um, I gotta start taking the cement too, as well as the cobblestone. The cobblestone, for obvious reasons, to update our current base, but the cement. There we go. There's lo their actual skill point I was waiting for. So now we can go here. We can go uh, here. And go here. Which will now us allow us to make mixers and our um, workbench. So now all we need to do is spend a, pipe, a point into uh, Demolitions Expert and we can start making pipe bombs. I don't have to worry about them with quest rewards then. Ooh, nine more bucks. Nine more bucks closer to being able to buy our way out of this fucking hellhole. How's it going, lady? Apparently not so good. Cardboard box. 
Ooh, red dye. What can we put that on? I could put it on the Santa hat, but no thanks. Uh, let's have some red pants, though. There we go. Bloody overalls. Guess I should really be looking for zombies around the corner before I make noise. I mean, it's not so bad. The difficulty isn't that bad, but it's still one of those things you want to be aware of. Okay, grab that. What do we got in here? Bone. Alright, let's see if we can burn through the rest of this place real quick. I think we should just scrap that. Okay, we want to grab the cobble and the... Ooh, there we go. Cobble and the uh, cement here, though. And we got a light over here. I think that, if I'm not mistaken, there's a, uh, a thing under here. I don't know if I can reach it from here, though. They still haven't made it so that you can... Like, players can't crawl through one tall blocks. Although the zombies can get through here. If they get down and they're crouching and they start crawling, they can get through here. Can I get the weapons bag from here? I can't. Alright, well, we go around the other side and get it. Let's get this cobble and uh, cement first, though. So my kids ask me, like, Hey, why, do you, why don't you do the fetch clears instead of just the fetches? And I'm like, you could do fetch clears and you make a little bit more money. Um, but the thing is, like, the fetch clear, you make a little bit more um, dukes for sure. But then if shit goes foobar and you got to run away, um, then you've lost the quest, right? Whereas, if shit goes foobar for, for me here now, um, and I run, uh, I've, I've still succeeded in doing the quest. So I'm guaranteed to get my dukes just by, just by focusing on grabbing that, uh, on grabbing the, uh, the bag to start. So, I mean, yeah, you could say it's a, maybe it's not a correct way to do things, but... If I run out of time, or if like I encounter rad zombies or what for whatever reason, that's just scrap that. That was a waste of a gun bag. Then I can just bail and not have to worry about it, right? I'm already done. I'll get my money. All right. Nobody up there. And yeah, nobody in the kitchen. Once again, forgetting I have a helmet light. It's one of those things I just, when I'm playing normally, I never remember to, like I never use it. Um, even if it's really dark, I generally will never use a helmet light. Just simply because it's not really that needed. But I guess when you're recording a series, it's like the lighting makes all the difference, right? Also helps with compression and a variety of other things. So like, I don't know if you know most compress. Oh, there's the wrench we've been looking for. That's the wrench we've been looking for. Most compression algorithms don't like dark colors. The brighter it is, the better the compression. Less the the less likely you are to notice the artifacting. I guess that's the best way to say it. Because all compressions have artifacting, regardless of how good it is, even lossless. Technically, there is a compression to it. It's just not noticeable. Most, like most high-end compressors are not noticeable. Grab that, take that. That's somebody outside I'm hearing. Okay, I think we probably got somebody in there. We sure do. What's up, buddy? That's locked. How are we getting in there? I guess we're dropping down in there? Ooh, this is kind of a nice room. We need some clothes, so... Grab what we can out of here. 
Hopefully there's more than just cloth in these bags. Okay, that's nice. And, oh, yeah, man, thank you. Okay, do we have any glue on us? We do not, so we can't make a, another pocket. Well, we'll just go ahead and put that on. I love this because of the extra run speed. So even if you're overloaded, you can still run a little faster. Uh, let's just break in here. I think it's meant to be broken into. Nothing there. Good. Don't want to get caught looting. Ah, uh, scrap you. It's interesting what I'll do in a series playthrough that I won't do on my normal... That's a watering horde. In my normal offline playthroughs. Because, like, I'll... Like, I won't scrap stuff. I'll go overweight, I don't care. I just don't scrap anything. It's just a habit that I have. I like to maximize my resources. And it sounds like my headphones are going to die. Which would be bad if I can't hear the zombies. Alright, let's grab all this material real quick. And I'll, while I'm doing that, I'll plug my headphones in and then we'll come back when we're ready to open this door. Alright, this is the last hit here. This will drop. Oh, it won't drop. I guess it's attached to the ceiling. Sure. There's an angry zombie out there. I think it's feral. Oh, hey, buddy. He had the flashlight and me shining lights in his face, and he still couldn't see us. All right. Looking pretty quiet. Can we get in there? Just get that trash. We can. Eh. More trash over here. Can we reach it? There we go. Three cans. Beautiful. Grab this. Grab the cobblestone. Finally got some brass. So that's the guy outside listening, he hearing us. I think this room's got three or four zombies in it. Oh, maybe I'm wrong. It just seems like a booby trap room to me. Oh, she just woke up. Doesn't matter, though. Oh, I was hoping to spank her. Didn't happen. Uh, there's the crawl animation, though. Like, if they get it into a block that's, like, you know, too tall for them to, like, go into. So this one is, like, not quite tall. Like, too tall, but it is a little bit, like... Like, I can't stand up here. They go into a crawl so they can get out of there. So it's things like if you, like, if they end up, you know, doing damage or um, can't get through a certain spot, they'll go into this crawl animation. Yeah, I should probably close that just in case. Sounds like a lot of them out there. It'd take a while for them to get to us, I think, but uh, let's just scrap this. I'll take that blood bag. I really shouldn't be. Ooh, five rounds. Hello. Hello. Okay, we can repair you. Grab you guys. And GTFO, baby. Because we is done. Where's the traitor? Over there. Uh, what side did I see the horde go by on? I don't see them around anywhere. Gotta get eggs, though. We may have to go for a quick walk around outside town. Today, to go get some eggs. Okay, this could be a bit of a... I think we're fine. As long as this guy's not feral. Nah, he's good. He's good. <laughs> Get up. Get up to get knocked down. Okay, we're going to stop by the house first. Drop a lot of this stuff off. We're going to grab some free plastic while we're here, though. Alright. 
Probably made about 100 dukes off that quick little stop. So they add a lot of these little mailboxes to the game. I'm not going to open this. We're going to wait till we get to a later game stage, I think, before we start opening a lot of this stuff. But there's also ATMs. There's like ATMs in front of some places, like stores, uh, that I've seen. I haven't had a chance to break into them because they're all locked, right? But um, I'm assuming they've got regular money in there, which means that at some point when we're trying to get some dollars to get off this friggin' rock, uh, we'll probably go and hit those ATMs up and see what kind of money they've got in them. Ooh, that's nice. Get that sorted when we get home. Actually, do we have a pipe? Uh, we don't. We'll just repair it when we get home. But yeah, we'll be hitting those ATMs up at some point. Alright, drop a bunch of this stuff in here. What else can we drop in? Uh, let's just quickly do that. That we're going to sell uh, you. Let's make another pocket. I think we throw... Let's go ahead and use this. That we can sell. Plastic we're selling. That we're selling. Got to keep the bone knife on us. That can go in there. Now, uh, I really should make some proper boxes here. We got the sewing kit. We need, I think, two leather. And then 16 of these. Because we got to make a duct tape. Right? And then we can go ahead and make the pocket for our jacket. Might as well cook up... Uh, yeah, we'll burn a whole one. Why not? Bacon and eggs. Did we grab a pipe out of here? Okay, we'll repair you. Take the scope off of you. Put it on you. And reload you. Now... I guess I should just make another storage container for crying out loud. Why am I trying to, like, stuff everything into one? Hurry up. We're burning daylight. Daylight's burning. Sure, put it there for now. You, you, you. Uh, and you, and you. Can all go in there for now. And then we'll go ahead and make things a little better. I guess we should make some armor tonight, huh? That would probably help. Yeah, we got a jacket is probably all we need, right? Right? Am I right? Alright, let's go see the trader. I should have probably eaten that bacon and eggs, but whatever. A nickel ain't worth a dime anymore. Really? Surprise, surprise. Wow, that's, uh... You want something in return now. <laughs> Dude, you you're screwing me here. Uh, you got any jobs? Anything close? Oh, man. West, Southwest are both by us. I have a little assignment. No, not do in the trailer park. Insane to cross he me. wants to kill me. That's what he Take wants to do. And I'll get you Old house Gambrel. Let's Steve go do that one. Uh, I see your inventory. Got some stuff to sell you here. All that. 217, not bad. 1500 again. All right, cool. Are we done here? Yeah, we're done here. Oh, uh, maybe. Now we're done here. We'll take a different path this time, see if we can find any uh, bird's nests. We're going... Wait, did we not take the quest? Did I not take that quest? I was sure I took the quest. Dude, are you like stiffing me on quests? What's going on? Uh, the one to the west, right? Task. Well, get busy. What the hell? I was sure I took that. Did I not take that? Food pile. Guess somebody was living here? Oh, that's really nice. We'll eat that before we go in. Well, here's our friends again. Ooh, another egg. 
Are you the guy I swatted before? Apparently. I guess he followed me a little bit of the ways. I don't know. Hey, you. I'm going to be doing some work next door. Do you mind? I don't think he minds. Oh, yeah, this place. Oh, yeah, this place, he says. Let's repair you. Go ahead and use you. We'll use this guy, too. We should be good to go. Let's take this cobblestone. All right, let's get on this now. I think we go in this window. Come back to the garage afterwards. Oh, God, this place. Yeah, it does help a bit when you know the POIs. We'll go the right way, but on my terms. I think normally you're supposed to fall down there and these guys just get on you. There's like two or three of them here, I think. Sometimes there was somebody here, but not today. Cooking pot. Oh, hey, buddy. How are you doing today? Okay, let's grab the free wood since we're not actually chopping trees down. So we haven't really chopped any trees down. I've got like a shit ton of wood already. It's one of the things I was saying about this game is like so much easier now than it ever used to be. You spend less time, you know, doing the donkey um, gathering resource bits uh, because you can just gather so much as you're going. Well, that's not a wandering horde again. Don't know why we're getting such a lag bit here. Yeah, see, I got 27 wood out of that just for opening a bag, which is like a small tree early game. I think a small tree gives you 30 wood or something. All right, I'm going to take all of this stuff. Loot it. Not sure. Oh, there's two mechanical parts. Now, we do have a wrench, so I want to take some stuff apart today, too, for mechanical parts. Uh... I think that's what we should do, though. Uh, after we finish this quest, we're going to go take this back. And we'll do the, we're going to get the main loot here, too. But we'll take the uh, quest back. And then we'll go ahead and, um, on the way, try and, try and get our mechanical parts. We're going to need springs. I want to try and find an engine because I do want to try and get... Okay, nothing there. This door goes back to where we were. I do want to try and get a, a mixer going today, too, if I can. No birds. Always got to watch out for them birds, man. Yeah, see, this would have been a nice house to, uh, to live in if the downstairs wasn't so shit. That's nice. You know, I'd use that. Because we could, like, hang out here on the porch. You know? Thought I heard a bird. All right, let's scrap this, and let's scrap these, and we don't really need that. Let's drop that. All right, keep going here. Yeah, I mean, it's a nice big backyard. We could have, like, walled it off with proper walls. Ooh, hello. See what I mean? You can sneak up on zombies now better than you ever could. Like, they would have normally hurt, like, the last alpha deck zombie definitely would have hurt us. Okay, we can go ahead and scrap that now. And scrap you. Always take the plastic. It's worth it. Nobody here. Except for you. Oh, hey. Did I not hit your head? Apparently I didn't. Okay, we'll check that room in a second. Let's grab the cobblestone and stuff from here. And the plaque sticks. So normally I record my episodes multiples ahead of time because I don't really have 
a lot of time every night to be uh, recording and then editing and then posting because I do my Battletech series and stuff too. Oh, nice. Let's repair you. And we can put you on. I don't know I've said this in the past. It's like I just don't have that kind of time. I would rather be playing and enjoying the games rather than like spending a crap ton of time editing and stuff. So that's why I kind of do bulk recording ahead of time. And then when I do have a bit of time here or there, I go ahead and I do a bulk um, edit on a bunch of stuff and then post all at once so that I'm not like constantly doing it every single day because being attention deficit disorder, things like that can get really, monot like really monotonous. Um, and then I lose interest and I don't want to do that, right? So, um, that being said, um, I apologize if like, you guys are making comments and then, like, I respond, like, I don't know, X amount of episodes later, like, in-game because it's like I don't have the ability to change stuff early on because I've already recorded things. So I hope you're okay with that. I mean, it's nice to try and play along with people. I call bullshit on that one. There we go. Oh, she's feral. Hey, lady. Nice of you to bring my arrow back to me. I really appreciate that. But I need you to stay down. Just stay down. That arrow didn't get stuck up there. I think that's it. Just the one feral. So I'm, I'm convinced that those ferals are from that mod that I added. I don't think... So if you're playing Seven Days to Die and you're not encountering ferals early on, that's why... I actually like it. I was thinking about removing it for the series. Because I was like, ah, man, I don't know. Like, having ferals early on could be really nasty. Having, like, radiated zombies, like, on day one is, like, particularly bad. It figures we got the wrench schematic. Actually, we... Actually, no. We do need the wrench schematic because we have to get... Right. That's for a vehicle light. So we're going to use that for later on. Uh, we have to use this. Uh, because we need a wrench and a hammer to make the workbench. So I need to put a point into... Uh, what's it called? Um, either salvage operations or I got to put it into... Nothing back here. So that's it for this place. Actually, is there anything in the back corner? No, there's not. Uh, is there anything up there, though? Oops, I'm about to put it into Miner 69er to make the hammer uh, because we get more out of that than we do out of salvage operations uh, in the long term. Short term, doesn't really matter which one we put it into. Uh, let's repair you. We can drop you. And let's get the hell out of here. Go out the window here, I think, and that's it. I don't think we have to do any more. So, in the long term, it's better for us to be um, putting the point into uh, Miner 69er because we'll get more immediate use out of it. Uh, so, yeah. we got to make a hammer. So, do I have a... I don't have a skill point yet, do I? I don't. How close are we? We're damn pretty, pretty damn close. So, let's get down here. And on the way back, we've got to find mechanical parts, which are generally... The best bet is cars. Our wrench is going to run out here. we got to get a repair kit from home. Getting some springs too, which is good. I'm not going to get an engine out of this vehicle because it's already partially broke down. We need to find a, like a full-size one. So what do we got? we got five mechanical parts, plus we got two at home. We need 20 of them. Uh, what was it that gave like three? Oh, like leather... Ch uh, the, the chairs now, I think, give a bunch. The... Um, Leather chairs used to sometimes give one, but now I think you can get two or three off them. But I didn't keep any of those. Alright, well, let's just loot this car. Like the detail, look at the detail in this. It's the end of the street, and then they've got this, like, do not enter sign and a little power thing here. Like they've got all these little tiny little POI thingies that are out and about. I didn't get an engine off this one either. Gonna leave it there. Yeah, see, like, that's just, like, a remnant POI, but this is all part, I think, of the same thing. You know? He just did such a good job with this alpha. I just, like, want to spend just time walking around the damn city just to see how good it is, because it's really, really done well. 
Now let's grab this. Then we'll grab the because we have it on us. The oil shale that we left over here. Grab that real quick. Okay, we got a little bit of time. So let's go home, get a repair kit. We'll wrench our car apart first. Get a repair kit. We need to make forged iron for a second wrench. Um, we're gonna make a hammer. Got a level, which we'll do right here in a second. There we go. Now we can put that onto, where's the skills? Uh, this will give us the ability to make a hammer. I'm like 99.9% .9 sure. Just gonna do it. Okay, we did not get an engine off this guy either. Which really sucks, but we'll finish taking it apart because I don't want it blowing up in our yard. Then we can determine how much... Um... Oh, it needs repairs. Of course it does. Okay, drop a bunch of stuff in here. Um... Repair kits. Got seven of them. Repair you. We're gonna sell that. We're gonna hang on to everything else, I think, except for the headlight. Actually, you know what? Let's hang on to the headlight because I think we might need that for. Um, hang on to that. That can go in there. We got our springs now. Um, we, we might need the headlight for the mini bike. So at least hang on to one. I can know I can sell the rest. We got 15 already. And I need, I think I need, I need six for the, oh man, I need six for the, um, wrench. I think I need six for the, uh, urgh. I need six for the, six for the wrench. I think it's six for the, I can't remember how many I need now for the, um, for the cement mixer, if we're gonna get that going tonight. I mean, we'll only get it going if we can find an engine. Didn't get one. So if you're wondering where the engines drop in the middle of the uh, wrenching of a car, uh, on the second level, so there's the first level with everything on it, right? All the vehicle parts are there. Uh, where's a car here that I can show you? Check this real quick for the plank sticks. Okay, so, um, I'm sure you already know this, but this is the second level of car. When you're wrenching the car apart, once it gets down to half hit points, which is like 150, that's when it gives, oh, there's the hammer. Yes, it gives, so halfway down, it gives you the chance to drop an engine or a battery. We didn't get either on this one. That's really the only place you'll get it. At least that's the only place I've ever seen it drop, like halfway through the middle part of the car. And it's the same with a bus or a, uh, if you find like a, a working stiff tool truck or one of those guys, halfway through. <laughs> death by wrench. Now we got a chance to use our, uh, I hear you. Just shut the fuck up. God, jeez. You think I don't hear you? You get death by knife. Oh yeah, so halfway down the uh, working stiff tool tr uh, truck or a bus, like right when it gets to half hit points, that's when the chance to drop an engine or a battery is. So if you haven't gotten one by then, you're not going to get it. Why am I still doing this? I need to find an engine. Have we uh, looted this truck already? We have not. The only problem with these trucks is they take forever to get to that point. Ooh, battery bank schematic. I'm gonna use that. All right, let's take this truck apart. Now I find that these vehicles generally have a better chance to uh, drop an engine and a battery once you get halfway through them. They, same as the buses. I don't know really if the percentage is any higher. It just feels higher. All right, so we're almost at halfway here. And drop, there's the battery. 
All right, we're not going to get an engine out of this guy, so we're going to just pass on it. Really want that engine. It would be nice to have all of the important stuff done today, day three. All right, let's just turn this in real quick. I don't think he's got an engine. Watch this, he'll offer me an engine now <laughs> as the reward. Either that or be two stupid useless books again. What's up, buddy? Well, you did, oh, 9 mil ammo or flannel okay. shirts. Well, you That's a paid. tough one, eh? Let's see your inventory. Uh, what can we sell you? we got lots of mechanical parts now. We want to sell you all the plastic. Actually, I don't want to sell the plastic. I can sell the one light, though. Uh, because we need this for um, the battery bank. Uh, so... Uh, you got forged steel. I think that's... We need that for a wire tool. Um, you've got an anvil. Nerdy glasses I really wanted, but we don't have the money for that, unfortunately. We have the important stuff, though. Uh, we've already got your gunpowder. So you don't have a battery. Which is a shame. You got a wheel, That's though. Let's, right. uh... Let's go southeast. We haven't gone southeast yet. Good deal. We can see what's in the town. We're gonna do that tomorrow. Right now, we're gonna go back out, see if we can get that engine before the night's over. I mean, if not, ah, fucking rabbits. I'm gonna give up on it. Uh, if we can't get the engine, how broken down are you? There's a workbench though. I'd like to take that apart for the forged iron, but we can make forged iron tonight. Lag. Ah, uh, there was a building that I saw just over here. Remember when we were coming into town? I looked into a building and I saw an engine. Now, I know it's not a 100% grab. Where was it? Oh, there's one here. We already searched this guy, so let's take a look at this car. See if we can get one out of this. Now, I got a battery, though. Where was it? Uh, I looked. I remember looking into a building and going... Oh, there's an engine. I was going to make a comment, but then it was like, what what good is commenting about an engine like, to anything, you know? I didn't make a comment about the engine, other than the fact that you're not guaranteed to get an engine out of them anymore. Let's just scrap that. Go on this one. I'm worried about being out this late, too. We'll get home in time, I think, but... And no, nothing. Where did I see the engine? Was it here? I know there's one in there, but there's also dogs in there. I don't really feel like going in there right now with dogs. Because I'm going to have to shoot them, and then... It's going to attract zombies, and it's going to lower our chance of actually finding an engine. I, I don't remember where I saw it now. Let's try this car. It's partially taken apart. We've already been through here. Have we? We haven't. We've been through a place like this, though. Ah, uh, we can scrap that. Nope, battery. Low power truck. We gotta stick around close to home, though. Can't be going too far. That car's stripped. Man, this friggin' Alpha 20 looks gorgeous. The fog's out now. Frickin' nice. Okay, uh... Okay, a stripped-down car. I don't think this is the one where the guy hung himself, right? Nope. Well, garage boxes sometimes have a chance to drop engines. Yeah, we're ten dollars closer to being uh, able to get off this rock. Let's check out, see if Working Stiffs has got anything for us. Come on, frames. 
Okay, this is just me and gonna mean we're gonna have to go out tomorrow, I guess. Like even this, like look at the detail. It's like road works, they put these little, little saw horses up. It's so good. Don't see any cars though. I think we're close to our house now. There's damaged cars in there, I know that. Yeah, and there's the uh, place that's near our house. There's no car there, was there? Yep, but it is not lootable, which means it's busted. Ah, okay, well. That's sad. It's disheartening we didn't get the uh, mixer today, but that's okay. We're going to be able to make the workbench. It's the most important thing. We had the ability to make a new wrench after we make the workbench, so I feel pretty good about that. Now, this guy's got a car in his driveway. Is it broke? It's broken. All right. Well, that's going to have to do it for today, I guess. Although we should probably just break these things down out here. Okay, well, let's get the workbench going. Close that up. Actually, let's upgrade this with the iron that we have now. Nice. Okay, so we need forged iron, which we don't have, which we can get out of here. We need 25 minimum. Uh, so let's put in iron we do have to melt. And do we have any clay? We do. The reason why I picked these up. Turn that back on. And then forged iron. Get that crafting. Oh my god, the clutter. I can't just... It's insane. All right. I'm going to make this workbench overnight. I'm going to call this episode here. Uh, we're pretty, pretty darn close. Um, so we'll get the workbench built overnight. I'll uh, find a place to put it down in here. And then we'll uh, have to get some more forged iron to make a wrench. And probably make a hammer too. Uh, just so that we have those here for when we need them. Um, and then uh, when we come back next episode, um, we'll finish up this mission for the trader. And I think tomorrow what we do is we push really, really hard to try and get the bicycle. Um, uh, we should be able to just pull off two or three missions tomorrow. I think we've got four, five under our belts now. So we should be able to pull three off tomorrow, I think, uh, without too much of an issue. Put the bed right there. Um, but yeah, we're going to do that tomorrow. All right, so we end the episode here. Hope you enjoyed it. If you did, drop a like. If you haven't subscribed, please feel free to subscribe. You can also drop any comments in the comment section down below. Until next time, we'll see you later.